Hello and welcome to Talking Steam, a podcast series by Spirex Sarco. We are the world's leaders in steam technology, offering the industry's most extensive range of products and services across a variety of industries. We create solutions that set the benchmark for steam using organizations worldwide, working with you to improve productivity, save energy, and reduce waste. This is a podcast series for manufacturers of food and beverage products using Steam at their facility. If this applies to you or you work with sites that fit this description, you will know that Steam is an effective and adaptable means of transferring energy or conditioning a product, but can also represent a significant financial outlay if mismanaged. Steam systems can contribute over 80% of a plant's energy costs, and also waste significant volumes of water to atmosphere or drain, instead of conserving or recycling it. Therefore, the focus of this series of the Talking Steam podcast is on how to save energy and save water through effective heat recovery, all while also reducing visible emissions, reducing CO2 emissions, and controlling the potential health and safety risks. This is with a special focus on food and drink manufacturing and production. My name is Mike Skidmore, and I am a market development executive in the food and beverage team here at Spirax Sarco. I have a background in steam engineering in the food and beverage industry, having spent the majority of my career working with manufacturers to maximize their productivity while managing their steam systems to work for them as efficiently as possible. Throughout this series, I'll be speaking with expert friends and colleagues from within the steam engineering and manufacturing industries to bring their experiences to the conversation and help me and explore and explain why you should be looking at heat recovery opportunities within the steam systems at your plant. And while we could spend many, many episodes delving into the science behind steam and heat transfer, that's really better left for the online resources and books that already exist. And as we go, I'll be sure to point you in the direction of further, more in-depth information. And really my intention for this series is to not dig into the minutia, it's to discuss the practical use and the application of steam in real world food and drink manufacturing and production applications. We'll be looking at scenarios covered by my guests and I from our previous work and experiences and how a successful outcome was realized and then dig further into how you can replicate this. In the following episodes of this series, we are going to be exploring where the opportunities for heat recovery lie in the steam system of a typical food or drink manufacturing plant. We'll be looking a little bit further into why exhaust or plumes of steam occur and what can be done to control them. And then we'll start to explore some of the consequences for a manufacturer that doesn't implement heat recovery at their plant. And so in the next episode, I'm going to be speaking with an industry expert to explore the reasons why energy and water is often wasted in the form of visible emissions from a food manufacturing plant and what can be done to capture and recycle it effectively. That's it from me with this episode. Please stay safe, and I look forward to you joining me in the next episode of Talking Steam. Thank you. Thanks for listening. We hope that you enjoyed this podcast and join us again soon. If you have any questions about the content covered in this podcast, please reach out to us or your local Spirex Sarco engineer. Watch out for future episodes coming online soon. Follow Spirex Sarco on LinkedIn and listen to get updates on new episodes.